These ports were produced by the company PCBWay and sent to me free of charge. It is a circuit board for a freely programmable double H bridge which I need for my second project page, Homo Fazians. In this video I would like to have a close look at the circuit board itself and show its assembly. With the dimensions 330x160mm, it is for sure no compact PCB, the components are arranged with large space between them for the sake of better visibility of the traces connecting them. The use of through-hole components also contributes to a larger base area but simplifies the soldering process. It is a two-layer PCB, there are traces on both the front and the back side, linked on designated points named wires. As can be read on the surface, it is a demo board that can be used to explain how an H-bridge works, that's why there are so many LEDs in the circuit. For my demo circuits I usually use bare copper wire to connect all components. The professionally manufactured boards from PCBWay have a number of advantages. First of all, the board is rock solid. The copper wires of my handmade circuits bend easily and every now and then a solder joint breaks. On the PCB, the conductive copper tracks are covered with an insulating layer of plastic film which minimizes the risk of accidentally shorting traces. All components are labeled and can therefore be referenced more easily. The possibility of having any lettering or graphics printed on the surface makes the circuit board widely self-explanatory. The print is of high quality, even small letters are clearly readable... ...and the fine lines of the graphic have smooth edges. Thanks to the labels, populating the circuit board is quite easy and errors are minimized. The subsequent soldering on the back of the circuit board is also done very quick. This is mainly due to the applied soldering mask, which is a heat resistant plastic coating that exposes the blank metal only on the soldering points. Thus, the solder is limited to the specified area, which means that even not so skilled tinkerers can produce error free solder joints. The solder mask is particularly helpful when soldering points being close together, such as on the sockets for the ICs. Solder spatter or flux residue can be easily wiped off the plastic coating. The result is a professional, easy to use circuit board, as said before, the explanation of how the double H bridge works can be found on my project Homo Fazians. I created the board with the open source software KiCad. The design process starts with drawing the circuit. The next step is to create the layout. The components are first arranged on the virtual circuit board.
the tracks are then drawn semi-automatically. Once the outer edges have been set, the required design data can be plotted, which means be exported. These must now be uploaded to PCBWay.com via the online shop and a few other parameters such as the board material and color must be specified. PCBWay accepts the data created by KeyCat after verification by an employee. It is only checked whether the board can be produced according to the files received, not whether you have produced any error in your circuit logic. After this step, it only takes a few days for the finished board to arrive. The production progress can be monitored on the PCBWay website. Going from an idea to a finished professional circuit board is no rocket science. There's plenty of information on what can be controlled with the double H bridge on my second project, Homo Faciens. For high resolution photos of this board and info on PCBWay, have a click on how open is this gadget. Thanks for watching and I'll be back.